Good morning. Guess where we're at? The bathroom. Yay. No, I'm just kidding. Not really yay. But um, we are going to do... I'm going to do decluttering. Um, this is my extra bathroom. I don't use it. Uh, Pate uses the bath, the toilet, and she takes a bath in here. That's about all she does. What is in these cabinets is what was in her the cabinets when she was a baby. I have no idea what's in there, which is pretty sad. I don't use this bathroom, so um, I'm gonna go through these cabinets, declutter, and I'm hoping there'll be like nothing left. <laughs> after I donate um I've been watching a lot of I've been watching a lot of like KonMari stuff and decluttering and organizing and I just love it every now and then I feel like you should just do it all the time um I have a project like I have a piece of paper hold on. I have a piece of paper that I have down like different areas that I want to declutter organize or whatever and I like having the list because whenever I get it done, I can just mark it off and it makes you feel accomplished. But whenever you go back to that area, you feel so much better anyways. You know, don't keep stuff that, we don't need to keep stuff. If you, if someone gave it to you as a gift and you don't use it, do not feel obligated to keep it. I don't, every time I give somebody a gift, I tell them if you don't like it or if it doesn't fit your needs, get rid of it or I will try to find the receipt or return it and get something that you want. I don't work hard for my money for you to have something that's sitting in your house like just cluttering your, your house up. So do not feel obligated to keep gifts. I just, you know, there's a, there's certain things that you love, keep it. But if it's just sitting in your closet, don't, don't keep it. Just declutter yourself, <laughs> declutter your house. and. And I promise you, you'll feel so much better after it's clean and organized or just decluttered. So, sorry for my rant. <laughs> We're going to get started. I'm going to show you the before and then I'm going to try to do the process and then after. So, we'll get started. Okay, so here's the first cabinet. There is all kinds of junk. I don't, there's dog stuff. You see the dog stuff? Um, I usually wash our dog and I try to groom him myself. It doesn't really always work. Um, here is the middle. Look guys, baby stuff. I don't, I don't know. Some cleaning stuff. And then some more stuff. I don't, I don't even know y'all. And then up here, up here, I mean, I have a paintbrush. Why do I have a paintbrush there? I don't, I don't know. And then this cabinet. I mean, just tissue, there's just random, there's random stuff. Up here, where you can see it, up here looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, so, I don't know, we will, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully there'll be nothing left. No, not nothing, but hopefully it'll be a lot less, so. So dog stuff I keep, we use it all the time, so I'll put this over here. Um, dog stuff, keep, dog stuff. One of our, a girl that I used to work with, I don't know where she got them, but she got all these like packages of stuff. And so Peyton can use the toothbrushes. Um, we do not use fluoride toothpaste, so I'm throwing this away. I don't necessarily like it. Um, it's cheap. I mean, it's free. I've had it forever. I think I had it since I was a teenager. Um, so there's some feminine products in the bottom. I'm going to put all these bajillion toothbrushes there because we'll get to it eventually. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with it.
okay guys so I cleaned out okay so I cleaned out the underneath so I have all the dog stuff over here the the washes the um, clippers and the brushes and nail clips there um, I have a few things here for paint um, body wash hair wash lotion just a few things the rest of it I'm getting rid of um, I have a few things over here a little bit of a cleaner I have an extra straightener I have not used it in a while but you never know when your straightener will go out and I do not want that to happen so um, rubbing alcohol peroxide cornstarch just little random stuff so there's the after guys looks much better um, I am let's see I have all this baby stuff my sister-in-law is actually fixing to have a baby so I'm going to give all that to her most of it's new actually I think all of this is brand new it's not even open you can still see the plastic on it so it's all brand new Here's the after in the drawers. Nothing. I have um, hair stuff here for her. A thermometer. That's all I have in that drawer. This drawer over here. I have this little pouch. It has um, like first aid kit stuff like Tylenol, um, itch cream, like bug bite stuff. Um, so that's all I have in that drawer. I think it looks much better. Okay guys, that is all for our video. Um, like I said, I don't use this bathroom much, so I don't need a lot of stuff in it. I hope you enjoy. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. Good morning guys. I'm gonna blow in your face. <laughs>